What's up guys, today I'm gonna talk about stealing. That's correct, stealing in animation. Every great artist steals. You know how the quote goes, good artists copy, great artists steal. And that is correct. Now, I want you to understand, um, stealing is good. It absolutely is good. If I see uh, you know, a pose that I like, or a certain angle that I like, or you maybe an action or a timing uh, that I think would be good for my animation, I'm gonna take it, okay? I'm going to take it 100%. I've seen as far as a, a movement in Pixar, I was like, I like that timing, the spacing of the movement, the bum, bum, the bam, right? And I implement it in my animation, 100%. You don't have any time to recreate the wheel. You see something, you like it, you take it, implement it in your animation. However, there is a massive, massive, massive caveat. And I think it's very important, especially for new animators, or even you know junior or senior animators to understand this. There is a difference between inspiration and imitation, okay? Because I have seen, there was actually a video game not too long ago where the animations were almost ripped from Spider-Man PS4. It was like a Japanese game and everyone could tell, hey, that's Spider-Man PS4's animations. What's going on? There is a difference between imitation and inspiration. Now, when it comes to more, uh, I think more pivotal things, when it comes to demo reels, there have been cases where I've seen other animators take other animators' work. And I mean, not like, hey, I, I mean, there have been extreme cases where they actually just rip from their demo reel and put it on theirs. That's Koopa for Cocoa Puffs, that's crazy. But there have been other cases where I've seen uh, people just take one for one a shot that one animator did, they switch the rig and they do it uh, and claim it as their own, right? The spacing, everything is the same. And I say this because I came across uh, this on my Twitter feed, if you don't follow me, follow me. And this animator was complaining about this other animator stealing their shot. And you know, in some cases, animators, you know, we, we are, we have egos, okay? We, we are digital uh, life givers, we're digital gods, okay? We give life to digital creations. So I, you know, I always like to double check to see what's going on. Now, I'll show the video, you tell me if it's actually, you believe it's stolen. For me, personally, my take on this, is I would say, yeah, you stole that person's work. <laughs> you very much stole that person's work. It's one for one shot. Uh, there, there, there is no change. Now, there is such a thing as fair use, of course, but when it comes to animation, as I suggest, steal everything. However, there's a limitation to what you can steal and pass off as your own. So in something like this, for example, if he has stolen, I don't know, the camera movement, right? It's a little zoom in camera movement, fine, that's okay. Maybe a, a, a few poses, maybe the end pose he has stolen. Okay, but for one to one, the punch, and then bam, even the timing. Let's say the timing was different. I mean, it was like bam, 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 and then choo, something, something so that it's not so much as a one to one. Switch up the pose and switch up the camera angles. There are certain shots, and I, I would get into reference, right? That's where that's where reference comes in. You don't want to do one to one for your reference because I mean that that defeats the purpose of you being an animator, right? That defeats the purpose of of of, of the twelve principles. So there are those newbie animators who will just do one to one for their for their reference, right? And you, they have mocap and they're just like, okay, well there you go. That that's what it is. That's the difference between once again the noob and the actual animator. Anyone can make something or can copy something, right? The difference is that you as an animator have an understanding of the principles, that you as an animator have a master of your craft and you know what to heighten, what to minimize, what to extend, what to shorten when it comes to the movement and the flowing of the body. And you can take it even a step further when it comes to the cinematography. When it comes to camera angles, whether you're doing a 35 shot, you're doing a long shot, medium shot, that also comes into play with the craft. And I think that comes with time. So when you have cases like this, where someone hasn't done the work, and I, I don't know e either of these animators personally, but that's what it comes off as to someone who may be hiring. Because a, upon you finding out, or upon a hiring manager, a studio, anyone, even a fellow animator, finding out that you have taken someone else's work and try to pass it off as your own, and you got hired because of it, bruh, that's, it's game over. <laughs> it's, it's game over, you'll more than likely be blacklisted and it'll be very hard to find you, for you to find a job. That's, that's more often what's going to happen because, because it is a very tight circle, okay, 
um, people speak, okay? People speak, and usually a lot of these animators in some cases, as we can see currently, are out of work, and they go from, hey, you know, you know any jobs are available, so it's a very tight-knit group of people. So when you try to break in, that is not how you do it. However, as I said, inspiration 100%. Take inspiration from anime. Take inspiration from DBZ. Take inspiration from some of your, you know, your favorite animators. I've done that 100%. I, I, you know, I've created like a reference of maybe act, uh, acting shots, of fighting shots, of certain uh, cinematography, certain angles. But you have to dissect it. That is the point. The difference between um, you copying and you truly understanding why does that look good. What makes that animation feel good? What about it? And you go frame by frame, 100%. Frame by frame and see, okay, he's stretching there or she's stretching there. Why? Why are they exaggerating this pose instead of that pose? And truly try to, to, to reverse um, engineer the shot. And that way, it's not so much as you copying it like frame by frame without understanding but now you have a greater understanding of why they did what they did so that when it comes time for you to do your shot you can you know you have a banquet uh, just a library of knowledge of certain scenarios certain cases certain angles certain camera uh, uh, camera lenses that will enhance your shot and what you are trying to achieve based off of the knowledge of other people's work right so that's the point of you know, a good artist copy, great artist steal. Hey, don't, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. They, they, there's plenty of animators who are doing. You like snappy animation? There are animators who have done this. You like as far as you know the cartoon animation release? There are animators who, do, who have already done that. Anything that you want to do, there's someone who's already done it. So I would suggest be inspired by those people. Look at their, their artwork, look at their animation, be inspired. Inspiration is not imitation. Don't just copy someone one for one because A, you're not gonna really learn anything unless you're actually trying to, to learn something, right? But if, you're, if it's a learning exercise, then keep it as a learning exercise. Don't put it on your demo reel <laughs> because if it's a really good shot, other animators have seen that shot. They're gonna know you're not the guy who did that shot or you're not the girl who did that shot and questions are gonna arise. And the last thing you wanna you know, be found out is on a job interview and you know, the person that you're interviewing, and I, I actually had a, a friend tell me this, where he was interviewing someone who had stolen their shot, and he was questioning them, well, how'd you come up with the shot? Where'd you get the reference and everything? And this person was just lying through their teeth. Little did they know that the person that they had stolen the shot from was actually the one who was doing the interview. So it's, it's best not to do that, right? Unless, like I said, it's an exercise, then leave it as an exercise, don't put it on your reel. Or recreate it, right? Remix it. That's all, it doesn't take that much. We mix it to make it your own. That's going to be uh, my advice for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget there's a free rig, the Doc Ock rig. It is free, absolutely free. Check it out, use it, animate it. Send me a link of your work and maybe we'll, we'll get a showreel of all the, the Doc Ock animations. But until next time, guys, keep animating.